Hello everyone, it's Lee here from uh, LTF Sports. Hope you're all doing well. I'm going to have a, a quick uh, chat today about uh, West Ham's impending move across East London to the Olympic Stadium. There's uh, so many different opinions uh, out there. Just uh, scroll through Twitter and you'll see just uh, the different views that people have about the move. Personally, I'm in favour of the move. Um, Upton Park will be special. But if we want to move on to the next level, we have to move to a bigger stadium. But I have my doubts about the move, I have my doubts about the views, uh, whether they'll be as good as the owners have said and have promised that they'll be as good as Wembley. I, just, I don't know if that's going to be the case. And I have my doubts to whether we're actually going to fill the stadium uh, after that sort of first year toys and kick that I think you'll get. Um, I think you might struggle for the uh, the cold Tuesday night games against the smaller clubs in the division, um, but only time will tell. But I think now's the time that West Ham fans need to get behind the move. It's happening. Um, you can you can oppose it. But I think we need to stop sending the abuse that West Ham fans seem to be doing regularly to David Gold on Twitter. I think it's time we get behind the move. Um, and let's enjoy those fabulous new facilities, which, quite frankly, we've got an absolute steal. Um, there's been a lot of opposition from other clubs, rightly so. We should be grateful that we've been gifted the stadium and we need to make the most of it. I always use Manchester City as a comparison and frankly I don't think they would ever have been bought out and had the success they've had if they were still at Main Road. Um, they were no bigger than West Ham uh, despite the fact they had one league title but really they were no bigger than us. So that's a great example of how moving to, the, to a new stadium has helped them to move on to the next level. But then there's Arsenal. I wonder if Arsenal fans would prefer... You know, their shiny new fabulous Emirates, which is one of the best stadiums in the world, it has to be said. Not so much for atmosphere, but for facilities and views and the way it looks, it's absolutely brilliant. But there's been no league title since they've been there and they had a lot of success at Highbury. Less so at the Emirates. Is it just the stadium? Is it that they've stagnated under Arsene Wenger? Who knows? But, you know, in my opinion, I think the stadium's had a big say. And then I wonder... If West Ham truly would have been able to convince the likes of Payet, Song and Obonna to leave European football behind, all from big clubs on the continent to come and play from West Ham, I think that stadium, the impending move, was such a pull that they thought this was a decent project to get behind. Um, well, that's what the optimism, optimist in me says. The pessimist says that they're putting themselves in the shop window for a bigger move, but again, time will tell. Looking a bit further back, I wonder how Sunderland, Reading, Coventry, Leicester and all those other fans that have been uh, forced to make that move from their small, uh, you know, intimidating stadiums to the much larger, sort of less atmospheric grounds that they now found themselves in. Let us know in the comment section below um, and don't forget to share and subscribe and I'll see you soon. Thanks.